I'm excited to come on and just do a live with you. I'm Donna Dewberry, and I created the One Stroke Painting Technique. And I was hoping that I would get a few people out here live this Saturday morning. We drove all night from Atlanta to get home. And I want to paint, paint, paint. I'm just in the mood to paint something I want to paint instead of something I absolutely had to paint. So I thought I'd get on and um, show you guys some fun creative ideas. Hello, Christy. Um, that you can do with a garden full of pretty greenery and some stenciling maybe on it and just some fun painting. If you liked any of my paintings that I've done in the past, I have ones. Hello, Miss Paula. I have um, relax and paint, practice strokes, one stroke advantage membership, so we paint and then we have a uh, Patreon and so much more. But today I'm going to just do a flowing, creative painting in front of you live. People say they like me to come on live. So I didn't, I don't get a chance to do it as much as I would like to. So I thought this morning I'll just get on and let's play around creating. Hello, Yvonne. And you're from Australia. Hello, hello. That's awesome. And see, you get people from all over the world. It's a good thing. So uh, I guess if I started painting, more people would come on. <laughs> Love to learn one stroke painting with you. Thank you. Um, so hi, Marie. It's been a while, baby. Uh, Bill bought my supplies uh, all to rehab. What a blessing. I've been praying for you, Holly. I'm glad. Hopefully you're doing better and better all the time. Um, I have a stencil, a black canvas. It's going to be bright and pretty though. And hell, hi, Ramalda and my double loader. So I'm going to get started so you don't see me and my <laughs> unfinished hair. We drove all night to get home. So I just woke up, did some little housekeeping things and I went, I just want to get on and just paint something I want to create. And so here we go. You ready? So let me turn this camera around so you can kind of see oops, 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 see what I'm doing and stop it. What the heck? Wait a minute. Oh, all my cords are twisted. That's why. Let's go just like this. <laughs> all right, Michelle's going to come fix me up on Monday so I can make this happen without any problem. All right. <clears throat> from Pittsburgh. Hello, hello. So I'm going to use a 16 by 20 black canvas. Hello, Miss Donna. I am using a pre-base coated. This is at Michael's already black for you. And then what I want to share with you is that I am going to do, it's, it's going to be a mystery painting for you, but this is my new teaching guide that I have four different types of painting on here, um, designs to stencil. And it was less expensive to do all four designs than to do four single um, six by six stencils in my new line. So I thought I'd do that. Hello, Miss Brenda. All right. Oh, I'm glad, Holly. Hello, Debbie. All right. So, so let me see. I am doing a gardening of garden effect with all kinds of pretty greenery and flowers. So let me show you what I've got here. I'm going to take this. I put my multi-surface paints in here. We're using folk art multi-surface for anybody who doesn't know one stroke. There we go. All right. And on the lids, it usually tells you that it's multi-surface, which means it's got a sealer in it. So it's really good. Put floating medium in the middle. Now I'm going to tap this to spread them out. Okay. And then I'm ready to go. So I am going to use a foam plate for the stenciling part because I want you to see I decided since we're on black, I'm going to, let's see about doing this Prussian blue on black with a touch of cobalt. And so now I have to, oops, let me show you. Let's come over. You have to rub it off a little bit on the paper towel and you could see, or on the foam plate. All right. So let's say these would be just like wisteria hanging would be coming from the side here somewhere. So I've got to put it on here a little bit to see circular motions with a really dry stencil brush. All right. So I'm going to hold it and lift it. OK, 
Can we see it? Oh, you can see a little bit. All right, yes, this is a newer stencil, but I have sold it already to some of you guys. So let's see if we'd like a little bit. I put a touch of white in here. Let's see if that shows a little bit better. I, I just want it to be a shadow in the background. Oh, that works, right? All right, so I'll have these come in here. This is one I use as an all over background in the back as I'm painting. Uh, so I don't want to paint it the exact colors. I want it to be a tone on tone thing. And so that's um, Prussian blue, cobalt, and a touch of white. All right. And so because the light's so shining on it, it will show through a little bit here. And then I can put down here, just imagine there's some burn coming up behind some of this painting we're going to do. All right, so I can go right back in this uh, where I worked it in and pull off some color. Circle, circle, tap, tap, tap. If you're getting into little areas, I think I ran out of paint. So let's lift and see. All right, it's there. All right, so what I do is I'll put all kinds of fern and designs, tone on tone, in the background, and then. I will just paint my big florals or whatever I'm doing, all right? So I am going to see how much I can get done while we're painting. And who knows if I have time to get to a bird or whatever. But I'm going to put some vining in here. I'm going to use a number. This is my one-stroke brushes, uh, the um, Donna Dewberry one-stroke brushes. And all of this is on onestroke.com. The new stencil, my double loaders, everything I use to help you newbies out there learn how to paint with me. I've already had somebody on there said they want to learn how to paint. Good evening from the UK. So it's nighttime, right? And Salem and California. Hello, hello from Virginia. Thank you, guys. Colorado. Um, so what we're going to do, y'all need to give me a shout out because there's a lot more people on than are saying hi. All right. So I'm going to, what you do is you split the brush to pick out the paint. And if you're out there and you keep getting the muddy look and say, it doesn't look like Donna's, it's because this double loader is like a miracle tool. Then I'm going to get some sap green. And then look, I can get into white here and add it to the citrus green or, or get white and add it. Just like I add a little bit of white to the blue. All right. So this is the first thing I want to do. I'm going to have greenery coming all along here. I'm painting on the chisel edge. And I'm going to come right along here and go across. All right. So I had a few drops on here, so just don't pay attention to that. It'll go away. I can get some blue into my green if I want it richer, a little bit richer. Sap green. Let's get some Prussian blue there. Makes it a little bit richer. I need some of those dark colors. All right. So we have it coming here. Uh, what is the best way to clean your stencils? You know what, what I do? I use a 12 by 12 scrapbooking um, plastic container. And I sometimes will put alcohol or water in there and then drop my stencils in there. As you can see, I didn't clean these because I'm usually running like crazy. Um, and I then, after I'm through teaching or I'm through filming or whatever, then... I will go put it in the kitchen sink and I take the soft side of, a, um, of the kitchen scrubber sponge and I'll just wipe it off. Pretty easy. You can use alcohol or water with like Dawn dish soap. Okay, now do you see I'm doing all those vines and then I'm also wanting some... Um, Maybe like daisies over here. All right. Now that light blue background, you'll see when we're all done. You might not even see what it is when we're done. But it fills in and gives you a yummy look. All right. So we have some flowers that come up like this. And this. Now I'm going up if I'm doing it like grass. Okay. And this is along the bottom. It's dark in the background because it's really lush and there's 
it's, it makes it look like it has depth. If I know exactly where I want the blossoms to hit, I can come to where I want it to hit and come back down. All right. So then I want a really nice stem right across here. And I could take this big vine. If we have time, I can add, I'm adding some leaves and all on there, but I don't know if I have time to do a bird. So we'll see. We will see how many people come on and how happy y'all are. Uh, I'm a newbie and love your blessings. I joined your YouTube. Thank you. Hello from Mississippi. And that was Penny. Thank you. All right. So, so I'm doing all this. This camera keeps changing. Sorry. I'm doing all these vines and all in there just to show how full and lush it is. Now I can come back and probably uh, and add some more in there later. Okay. Um, okay. So I am going to just start putting some flowers on there. Okay. Then we could come back and put a few um, more leaves if we need them. So I'm going to wash this brush and let's pick up, let's do a 12 so that we can get some little blossoms. All right. So one of the things I like to do are these, this is honeysuckle and I've got some honeysuckle in my yard that, um, it looks just like what I'm hoping to paint for you. So I'm getting daffodil yellow and wicker white. And I'm going at least two thirds into my brush. Okay. This is called a double loader, by the way. And I put my medium in there so it doesn't run all over everything. And it has a beautiful lid. And what happens is if you're in the middle of painting and you have to run out or you go to class and you're painting with us, you can pop this on it and dampen the sponge inside of here. And then this keeps it moist. And that's a cool tool I designed. <laughs> All right. And there's even a lid to go over the medium if you're traveling and you want to take it somewhere with you. All right. So then you don't have to take all those bottles with you. All right. All right. So what I want you to see is that if I come outside of a blossom of leaves, I mean, with a blossom, you come out with a stem. I'm going to have a couple different ones here so you can see. All right, that's the main stem, uh, like a trumpet, and it's not very big. I can dramatize it a little bit. And then I'm going to come in here and get nice white strokes. Now look what's going to happen here. I'm going to come here and put pressure. Come here and pressure, pressure, pressure. All right, so... Inside of that, we're going to have a stamen coming out. So I'm just going to show you that when these hang out of here, it really gives you dimension. All right. So I'm going to keep picking up paint. And we're going to a little bit more here. There. Okay. Now... I might use a couple of other colors in here. We're going to come up here. So chisel, pull down, pull down. I'll show you some other blossoms we're going to do. And we put a pretty green all around that. Now those are yellow. So let's say we have some coming up off of the stem here. And all along here. There's gaps in between where they're coming. I can't wait to see what y'all think when we're all done here. Okay. Now I'm going to rinse this and I'm going to now put blue and white. How's that sound? Let's use cobalt blue because we don't want it super dark. We just want to get a blue cast to it. See, I split my brush to pick up the paint, come over here and work it in. This is my double loader. If I need a little bit of water, I never use water except to clean. I want to come here and just touch the floating medium. And with one stroke painting, we're using these thick lushes uh, for our paint. It's a multi-surface. 
All right, so look at this. Let's put some blues because the accent I'm doing in here is all about blue. Okay. And we'll just pick a little bit of white up. And so we have some of these, this flower that hangs like this. They're kind of thin little pieces that come off. All right, then this one could just be a single or a couple little pieces here. But a little bit of white will make that look even better. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to make a little bit more. Is this fun yet? I'm going to curl it around, curl it around. Now, when I say I'm on my chisel, this is a chisel of the brush. And what we're going to do is we're lifting the front and dragging the last bristles. Okay. And that's how you do different parts of different kinds of flowers. All right. I keep coming over there and picking up more paint. And I'm going to come around. See how the blue is popping out a little bit more. Now, when we put our little stamens in this, it will just make it pop. All right. So another one that I can put on here, since I've got this blue going here. Oops, I picked up it on the wrong side. So if I do that, I just lay it on there and take off the paint on the outside. So you don't have to worry about taking it off on the inside. Okay. All right. Now, a perfect way for you to learn more and more of um, what I'm teaching is to do the practice strokes. It tells you how to start from the beginning. So watch the practice strokes and be sure to like it. But if you want to learn a variety of one stroke painting with me, please try out, even if you do it for a month, come try me on um, the One Stroke Advantage membership right here on YouTube. And all you have to do is hit join and it'll tell you all different options. And so you can get four lessons a month plus 10% off all my website um, product. You can get all of that for $9.99 a month. How good is that? You could order one order during the month and probably pay that $9.95. Okay, so look, we're going to now pull on that chisel and get a daisy stroke. So I'm touching on the chisel, press, putting pressure and lift. Now look, pressure and lift. Listen to what I'm saying. You've got to push down and then lift up. Push down and lift up. See that blue? How that's popping? That's going to pull the other blue in. Pressure, lift, pressure, lift. So you, you want it really thin looking when it gets to the middle. All right. So isn't that pretty? Do you like it? All right. I need to know that you want to see more. So give me some, <laughs> give me some thumbs up if you want more, more, or are you kind of getting bored? I just need to see. If you're liking it, so I'm going to show you a couple more daisy options. All right, see, now that one was tight. Push, lift, push, lift, push, lift. So I don't do them all exactly. Do you see this? Now, this side turns into the right, and this side turns into the left. All right, so see how that looks a little bit more natural? Hello, trees. Teresa? Yeah, Teresa. All right. Now, let me show you the magic of doing a daisy and having it look kind of kind of pretty good every time. All right. So this is what I do. I am going to make a clock. So I push and I lift. 12, 3, 6, 9. So now you don't have to think about anything except Hello, Gilbert, except for filling that in. I don't have to calculate what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come in here and you, uh, it's a recipe for success because you're plotted out a map and everybody knows what a clock looks like. And there we go. All right. So see those, those just pop out and they're ready for you. Happy to join you online. Thank you from India. I appreciate it. I've got lots of artists from India and they're so good. All right. So I'm going to do a little side view here. So see, I'm doing this side and then I'm just going to do short little slashes on this side. So it looks like it's tilted back. You see that? Isn't that kind of interesting? And then... I'm going to come way up here and do a real pretty one up here. 
And so I'm, I'm decided maybe I will do blue and white and yellow. See the blue in the background, how pretty that looks. Uh, keep going. All right. So I just need to have somebody say you want me to keep going. That's a good thing. Uh, thank you. So uh, we're just going to stop for a second and put some centers in that. We might do some more daisies, but let's do that. And I'm going to put some centers into these um, honeysuckle. And so I'm putting the blue and the yellow together. I hope you're liking that. And now what I want to do is I want to pick up some moon yellow with my Donna Dewberry scruffy. All right. So these scruffies I have in three sizes. <coughs> Excuse me. They do quick wisteria, centers, moss, grass, trees. Oops. So I'm getting carried away. So I'm trying to concentrate on being tight. So if you look at this, um, are you having fun yet? <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up. Thank you. Pat, 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 pat. So I needed my spirits lifted this morning. So I thought I'm going to come on and see if anybody loves one stroke out here. Anybody loves one stroke painting, hasn't seen it before. Please come on and please say, hey, I'm new. I'd like to know if you've never seen it before. Thank you, Gilbert. All right. So I still I love still going to trade shows and stuff and they go, what is this? <laughs> so it's fun to know. All right, so look, now I'm going to tap a little bit of white in there, and that's just going to make it highlight really good. Now, when I say you want to tap it in there, this is what I want you to see, guys. I want you to see that I go on the edge of the puddle with the scruffy, never go to the middle of the paint puddle. So see the white in here? See, just kind of, you can put yellow ochre or some wicker white in here, and it just gives it life. Okay. So I'm going to clean that scruffy. We never wet the scruffy except to clean it. So I got to fluff it out so it's ready for the next thing we do. Now, the only brush I do use water with is the two script liner. And so now what I have to do is I'm going to pull in white. Let's find a spot here. And I have a little bit of water in the brush and I need to roll it so it gets it really thin. And this is like a fountain pen and it just runs out as long as you're just painting with the tip. All right. Hello, Yvonne. I've not had lessons. Okay. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. So you are a newbie. <laughs> this is growing, isn't it, Debbie? <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. So look what happens. I'm going to touch and pull. Oops. Touch and pull, touch and pull. And because it has the little bit of water, it's real light. Now, see, they have the stamens or on the honeysuckle is a big deal. Now, I like to dramatize that. Like, that's really more than you would see in there. But you know what? It makes it fun, right? Gives a little detail to everything. We're going to put some greenery around those guys. All right. Now the leaves are what people really love about my technique. They love roses. And you know, bottom line, flowers are the most difficult thing in most techniques. And guess what? Flowers are the first things that people paint in the one stroke world. And they are attracted because I can make a flower in five minutes or less. That will blow you away because you can't believe that you could really do that. Right. Just found this lesson. Hello, George. Thanks for being on. All right. So now one of the things I do is I can come in here with a little green or whatever and put a little bit of depth. Oops, I put a wet finger there. I bet I can fix that. I think I'm going to come right around here with a little bit of that. Or look, you can put a little bit of dark blue. This is Prussian blue. And if you don't have Prussian blue, what's beautiful about it is it will make you from a really light blue to an amazing, deep, gorgeous blue. And all you do is add more and more white to it. All right. So now what we need to do is take the strong, thick yellow and put pollen on the end of each one of these little guys, whether they're white or yeah, um, white. They're all white stems. I don't know why I'm saying that. All right, so we're going to put this little, see how that makes that pop? Okay, thick paint, not inky. 
inkies when you add water to it. Oops, there we go. Now, did they come alive a little bit? Look at that. I think we got a glare on the black canvas, so I'm hoping when I post a picture, you guys won't believe how bright that turns out. So let's put, before we go any further, I'm going to put some great looking leaves on here. All right. If I have to say so myself. <laughs> oh, no. First of all, I've got this one last stem here that I think is really important. So look at this. We're going to come across a stem. Are you happy yet? You want to see more? Okay. So I only want to be here if you want to see me. Okay, guys. Let's pull, pull. There we go. And this is kind of like a wild little greenery. You might say it's weeds that comes up in your garden. All right, so I thought that one would be good in there. And okay, thank you. What kind of paints are you using that are so, they're not greasy, they're smooth? All right, so it's luscious. See how thick and creamy it's acrylic. And this is called, hello, Stephanie. This is called multi-surface, folk art multi-surface. And I'm the queen of multi-surface, I'm telling you. And so they, and, and before, all the paints I found were thinner. And I need it to be thick and beautiful to use for one stroke painting so it doesn't get muddy. So what's really nice about that is if I go and split my brush between the two colors and work it in, then I can come in here and do little uh, bases on each one of those flowers. And I'm up on the chisel edge on this edge of it, guys. Uh, folk art multi-surface acrylic. Thank you, Gilbert. There it is. All right. So we, many of us, have been using it for a very long time. I have instructors all over the world that teach one stroke painting. I'm looking for people who want to become teachers. And I just need to get out every once in a while and say, hey, guys, I have so many people that want to be taught. Please come join us. And right now it's a great way to make income. You can make it online like we're doing. Um, I teach a lot of that on our Patreon. Mark and I, my husband and I do a Patreon um, lessons where it's like a podcast where we're sharing with you the marketing and the business of one stroke painting, how you can paint um, and sell your wares and, and uh, promote yourself. And we have printables so that you can get those printed postcards or our emails, printed emails that are ready to go out. Just everything you can imagine, which helps anyone who wants to make a business out of teaching or just wants to sell beautiful, big, wonderful canvases to people. All right. So come check us out. Now see, look when it starts happening when I start adding the greenery. Doesn't it really take make a difference? I'm going to unplug this and see if it's less glare. Yeah, that's a little bit better, but then the camera adjusts to it. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. I'm glad. And I love these paints too, Gilbert. Thank you for sharing that. Because what's wonderful, look, I'm going to pick up some Prussian blue and put some of that dark blue in there. And watch this. I'm going to go a few little wiggles, stand up, push, and stand up. And you get these beautiful leaves. All right. Now, I teach you individually all these different leaves and which brushes to use for what, how to load properly, all of that's on my practice strokes. And it's free every week, every Friday. All right. So I don't want you to miss out. Please go check it out. If you're saying, I had so many uh, people new that say, ma'am, tell me how to do what you're doing. And we also, like I said, we have teachers all over the world that have come to get certified with me. And they represent me all over the world. All right, so from India to Israel, Turkey, China, Taiwan, Japan, Australia, 
Iceland, all over the world, guys. And I said when I, this is silly, but when they said that I had my product in, in 147 countries, I went, when I was young, I was like, there's 147 countries? <laughs> that tells you how naive I was when I came into this world. Um, it's been a while since I have seen you because I am in liver failure. I am so sorry, Carol. We will sure pray for you, honey. We'll pray many times for you. And Holly um, stopped in my room. See, one stroke, I was asked to come back and teach once. Oh, in your hospital room? That's awesome. The activity director, went, wow, that's good, Holly. Uh, what was that about Friday lessons? So on my site, I just want to share with you. I wake up early in the morning, usually on Wednesday morning, and I teach some really fun, um, relaxing videos, okay? And that, that's free. Then on Fridays, my most watched of anything that I that Donna Dewey does in one stroke is my practice strokes on Friday. We come on at noon. But there's hundreds of lessons there that already that teach you about the basin, the double loader, how to load, how to uh, double load your strokes. Uh, there's a multitude of stuff that if you say, well, she's using a medium. What kind of medium is that? I teach you all of that in the practice strokes. And you know why it's the most used, um, most watched is because so many people go and they practice and practice and go again and watch it and practice again. So there's repeat uh, customers going on there, artists wanting to see again and again what the stroke was. So are you liking those leaves? Uh, because original acrylic are very more transparent. Is it any way to make them more greasy? I don't know folk art acrylics. I'm from Poland. Um, this is a water-based acrylic, okay? So it, there's no oil, so it would not be greasy. I can thin this to make it. Um, I use this medium, this right here, and I can't really show you on. Let me show you on the phone plate. So if I pick up some medium and I work it in, I can get a transparent look. I get more medium, and that's what I use instead of water. And so I can do real transparent and I will get a shadow leafing effect. Doesn't show very well on black. And I can make that thinner and thinner if I want. So you can kind of see through that. But the idea is to get blending, shading, and highlighting and each stroke, see how pretty that blue shows up in there, is we need thick and creamy paint. See, it's thick, it's not oils, it's water-based user-friendly for anybody who wants to try it and doesn't want the messy oils and all. I keep missing your live shows. What do I need to do? Um, oh, well, they're always still there. So you can go back then and watch them over and over. But if you want to be when we're live, these lives on YouTube, I just pop up whenever I'm in the mood. So I'm sorry. I There's no way to like, because uh, I'm running around a very crazy, busy lady. First introduce these paints. I use nothing else. It's the best paint. I know. So there's so many paints. Even the plaid, the paint company, has so many paints that I could choose from. But I have turned over from the regular acrylic to this luscious multi-surface cut paint. And we have metallics. We have all kinds of wonderful um, different colors in this line. I use neon. In fact, neon look pretty on this. Can I access these lessons on YouTube? Yes, ma'am. They're all here. The time difference can get tricky. Yes, you can get it at any time. Just come on and watch it. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos here that I do every Wednesday and every Friday. And then I would love for you to join. I think I've got um, maybe 300 lessons. I don't know. I'm not sure anymore on one stroke advantage, which is right here on YouTube. And I instruct you from landscapes to all kinds of different 
still life and it is all for $9.99 a month you can get in and watch every lesson I've ever taught there and for a little bit more you can get all the patterns and worksheets that you can print out so I'm out there for you I'm just trying to help you um, oh I'm not going so you can see now see do y'all like this stencil behind did it make a difference you think maybe she means watery like when we use our script lighter yeah instead of greasy yeah but sometimes they are talking about oil so I wasn't sure um but that makes sense all right now let me show you see I did some leaves down here but let me show you if I want to do let's get a little bit of white on here all right now the the daisies are more jagged like like this now watch this are y'all liking what you're seeing have you learned anything <laughs> all right so we're gonna come and pull right into there Thank you for coming on this morning. I love sharing with you. I love having um, people wake up and think, I want to paint. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to take and just do a little ruffled. I get, I get the greens and then I come over here and stroke a little bit of white because I wanted to really show. Now, so these are three different colors. Can you see that? And anything you don't like that you did, I want you to see that, for instance, I'm not happy with this one. So always learn from you. Thank you. All right. So let's look right here. In and out, in and out. Okay. So, so far, there we are. All right. So, I'm going to come in here and finish this little guy that I started with here. So, let's get some cobalt and white. See, I'm splitting it, and then I'm working it in, not split. That's how you use this double loader. And if you get to rewatch this, I show that there's a lid. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Candy. Now, out here, these I've always seen out in my yard. Especially I grew up out in the woods. <laughs> we had, we lived on five acres out in the boonies. And lots of palmettos and uh, big weeds that take over this whole yard. Okay. We had goats and rabbits and chickens. Okay, so now I'm barely touching this, and I'm on this chisel, guys, and it's got little bits of blue to white. So we blend, shade, and highlight on our brush when we're loaded properly. That's the most important. When you go watch, um, when you go watch my practice strokes, I give you homework, and one of the things that's most important on there is go check how to load your brush, because loading your brush and not getting money is the thing that's hardest for people. Uh, to get straight and they're when they're unsatisfied and I'm telling you you can tell when people were sharing their art because we've got a wonderful Facebook group you want to see some loving and caring people please go to Donna Dewberry's official because lots of people have Donna Dewberry signs official one stroke group and it's monetized I mean it's not monetized it's um it w monitored so that we don't get a lot of unkind people. We get lots of loving one stroke people and we only do one stroke on there. So, so didn't that kind of give it a little fluff? I have learned so much by being part of one stroke advantage. Thank you. So one stroke advantage membership guys is right on here. So all you have to do when you come onto my site is say, click on join and just kind of learn about us. Learn about what we do and what's what's available for you out there. So now, um, if I use a little bit, oh, I got I have a couple of colors I wanted to use. I want to use this neon. You're gonna love this neon blue, and then I'm gonna use a neon purple. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, neon purple. These are all multi-surface paints. 
All right, but they're different. I want you to see that I'm gonna put this out here. All of the paints have a sealer in them, so that makes it really nice. So if this is dry and I drop paint or something I don't like, I can just wash it right off uh, and this not touch this painting. All right, so hello everybody, Miss Teresa, you're missing us. <laughs> Uh, my starter pack, we have lots of starter. I just did a beginner starter uh, workshop. It's just one full day. And it was a great way to start from the basics. And all of that's on my website. Or you can call my office. It's um, our warehouse is 352-394-7344. And my daughter, Amanda, will help you do any of the kits or something you want, but look at onestroke.com first to see if you find it there. This is the workshop. It's this big uh, booklet and you can get the booklet from me and take the class from me. I already have this online too, if you want. And it's like, I'm um, right at three hours and people feel like it's a great jump start, all right, to get started on. Thank you for um, mentioning that. I hope that that helps you a little bit knowing where to go. Okay, so now watch this. If I come in here and put some of this purple, like it's supposed to be in the background on some of these stems here, this is neon. And so it like electrifies exactly what I'm saying. You're not going to believe it. When this dries, I can walk in a room and go, that's got neon, that's got neon. Because like I put it, the pink over magenta, and I usually put this over purple, but I'm taking it straight purple because of the black. All right. And it will just light up for you there. And you could do the neon in the background too on the stencils that I was showing you earlier. All right. As we did that. So we can just come in here. So when I say design wise that I want to have, uh, I want to put in here. A balance so we have a good design so see this is going on top of the leaves and then here underneath and then on top again so I have purple purple and then we need a little bit of purple over here okay but then I'm going to show you the pretty luscious blues okay are we happy <laughs> all right so and just remember you can go watch this from the beginning it stays right here on my site all my lives do and um, there's some of my most watched ones. All right, so if I pick up cobalt and then I come over here and pick up the neon blue, neon blue, all right, we're going to come in here and let's, let me just show you that I can put, this will look kind of like a shadow uh, daisy in the background. So cobalt and neon. And then we'll put the center in the middle. So, and I'm having to tell you, we did some birds with this and there is no way to find a, a blue that matches this because it didn't get shipped to my convention where I was painting. And we tried every paint you can imagine to get the color I had in my birds, but I couldn't get it. Okay. Now I guess... If you guys, since you are so nice and you want to see a bird, uh, I'm just waiting to see if I can get two more people to join in. That's my goal. We hit 70, 68. If we hit 70, we're going for a bird before I leave. Okay. So I want you to see that. There's 69. Yay. All right. So let's go back to our scruffy brush. All right, and let's pick up some yellow. And, and the paint's wonderful, so it's going to help you. We're going to tap right here on top. Tap on top. Look how neon and how they built those just pop. Look at the difference because the light's on it. You can see it really well. All right, 70. I have to paint a bird. <laughs> Did y'all do that on purpose? <laughs> All right, so let's get a couple smaller brushes. All right, so my best deal, you got to go check out my best deal. My best deal is a 10-piece brush set. 
and it's got 10 of my most used brushes and it's under $20 for all 10. Okay. Now I made this little limb because I'm going to put my bird out there. So you're going to watch. I'm going to put white, yellow and white. Okay. And I might put another stem under here a little bit for him and make him down here. I'm going to come across his tummy. All right. So I'm going to come again. Little choppy because he's feathery. Okay, and I can put just a teeny bit of feathers back here, just fuzzy. All right, then I'm going to wipe this off and pick up just white, and on uh, right through here on his head is white. All right, just like we have white down here where the the his little bun is, okay, his bum. All right, and then we're going to come down here with some uh, tail feathers, okay? So let's get a smaller brush. And so I'm going to use a six. Those were eights and tens, all right? I already had one here. All right, so let's look at licorice. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot I didn't have that color. You could have used the Prussian blue, okay? I had 70 for a minute and they went away, but that's okay. You guys are important, right? All right. So I'm going to come right here on top of the head and I'm going to put a dip and stand up. Well, we do need Prussian because we're on black. Hello. All right. And then we put a little bit down here. Okay. Can you see him? All right. He looks a little bit like a chickadee on the head, but he's really another bird and then i'm gonna put a peak for the beak and i'll come in with a little bit of let's use this there we go there we go and then the eyes right in here are you having fun yet a <laughs> little bit of an eye in there all right so Let's put some green and then he'll go along with the whole piece that we're doing here. And we're going to come down into the body a little bit. And this is where his wing starts, right here. And we're going to pull it across here. Little strokes, guys. Do you see that? Little teeny strokes. All right. Now I'm going to go back up to the 10 and show you that I'm getting the Prussian blue and a little bit of cobalt and I'm going to come way out here for the tail feather okay and then I pick a little bit of white up and we're going to put those right up under where the wing is going to go all right so this is fun it just takes a little teeny strokes but the way I break it down uh uh, <laughs> when I break it down, um, all of a sudden you go, oh, that's easy. Because each little stroke is just a simple little stroke. I just tell you which step's next and which step's next from there. I have a whole pro program where we do flowers and birds together. And we just have a great time. In fact, on the One Stroke Advantage, we're doing some birds coming up. All right, so see our little bird there? And I can come in here and put little bits of white on the tips. Like a little bit of white here. So he's got to be sitting on something, right? So we're going to come right across here. Right in there. And out this way. All right. Thank you for being on with me today. I hope you have learned something. You like what I'm sharing. You share one stroke with others. You want to become a teacher? Please go to my website. It shows you all the details about becoming a teacher. Teacher, Join us on our Facebook group, Donna Dewberry's with an S, official 
because many people have one stroke, official one stroke group. All right. And be part of our group. We have very loving, kind people. All right. One more leaf. Love you guys. Finishing up. That was my timer. There we go. Isn't that great? You can just create something that fast really quick and have fun doing it. Okay. See you next time. Bye-bye.